We are Star Robotics, the robotics team of RVCE, present to you AFNI, our rover for IRC 2020. We are a group of 20 enthusiastic students working to amalgamate all our previous learning from participation in various rover challenges in order to build the next Mars rover. Our team consists of six subsystems, namely mechanical design, communication systems, power system, science cache, autonomous and managerial. The mechanical subsystem works to design the basic structure of the rover and the mechanisms required to work on the problem statement. On reviewing the various rover mechanisms and based on our previous experiences from building rovers, we decided to implement the rocker bogey mechanism. This design provides us with maximum stability while operating in challenging conditions. Another mechanical advantage is that it is springless and all six wheels are in constant contact with the ground. Our entire rover was fabricated using 6061 series aluminum alloy to maintain the optimum strength to weight ratio. All the links are made of hollow square sections of 3mm thickness. They are welded together by TIG welding using aluminum filler. Stress analysis on all the components was conducted using ANSYS software and a high factor of safety was ensured. We have employed a 5 degree of freedom robotic arm with base rotation, shoulder, elbow, wrist, joints and end effector. The manipulator joints are equipped with linear actuators and the role of the end effector is brought by a stepper motor. The arm is capable of picking up objects weighing up to 6.5 kgs. Our drive train consists of 6 planetary geared DC motors coupled to the wheels in the rocker bogey design. They are controlled by the Viper 35A motor drivers. The micro stepper motor drivers are used to control the stepper motors. Relays are used to control the actuators in the arc. The entire rover is powered using a pair of 6S lithium polymer batteries. In addition, the voltage, current and power dissipation of these batteries is kept in constant check with a continuous report sent to the base station at all times. We have also integrated a kill switch to cut off power in case of an emergency. Communication subsystem aims at establishing a secure connection between the rover and the base station. A dual channel 2.4 GHz communication link is being implemented. We are using TP-Link CP210 with inbuilt directional antennas for the transmission of the video feed as well as the commands and telemetry with a high data rate. We are using UDP protocol to implement simple and reliable communication between the nodes using socket programming. The antenna tracking for directional antennas is being catered to by measuring the relative angle between the rover and the base station using GPS and magnetometer data which ensures communication during non os conditions. A live video stream and telemetry data is being continuously relayed to the base station. Aligning our goals with the specified requirements of science cache, an in-situ analysis of soil and atmosphere is conducted. Atmospheric temperature and humidity are mapped using DHT-11 sensor. Atmospheric pressure is determined by using BMP-280 sensor. With the help of an auger, soil samples at about 5 cm depth are collected and transferred to a circular drum. Soil temperature and humidity is checked using SHT-10 sensor. The soil solution is pumped to different test tubes and a color sensor is used to determine the concentration of NPK and pH. Various MQ series gas sensors are used to simultaneously detect the abundance of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and methane to check for biosignatures. The NEO 6M GPS sensor model mounted on the rover accurately detects the GPS coordinates of the rover through which we calculate the path toward destination using our same formula. The 3-axis magnetometer is also being used to measure angles of turns of the rover. These two in combination will steer the rover towards the given destination. Once it's within the range of 2 meters, an image processing model using OpenCV is being triggered which identifies the tennis ball at the destination. We are testing different algorithms techniques for obstacle avoidance at the moment in order to optimize the autonomous path finding. Presently, we are working towards the testing of subsystems of the rover by simulating the task to improve and perfect the functioning and performance of our rover Avani, who is eager to meet you at IRC 2020.